So last week, I hopefully saved you a little bit of money by suggesting some very capable free alternatives to popular subscription apps. This week is like part two of that video, where I'll try and save you even more money by highlighting a number of popular subscriptions that you should never pay full price for, because these apps are almost always guaranteed to be heavily discounted throughout the year. The first of these is for any of the Amazon subscriptions, like Audible, Kindle Unlimited, and Amazon Prime. Amazon are always offering discounts on their subscription services. The secret to getting the best price is to sign up to the free trial, cancel the trial before it expires, and then simply wait. When you sign up for any of these free trials, you'll immediately get 30 days free access. You then need to do two things. Firstly, set a reminder to cancel the free trial a day or two before it's due to expire. Then make sure you're on the email list to receive all of their promotional emails. If you cancel a day or two before the trial is due to expire, Amazon might immediately offer to extend the free trial period. But if they don't, don't worry. Go ahead and cancel your subscription to ensure that you're not charged. Then it's simply a matter of waiting. Not long afterwards, you'll start to receive emails like these offering you additional months free of charge or a discount on the full price. Take up the offer and then it's just a matter of rinse and repeat. Cancel the offer before it's due to expire and then wait for the next email to drop into your inbox. If you follow this process, yes, you are gonna miss out on a few weeks where you don't have access to your subscription, but in the long run, you're gonna save yourself a fortune. Next up is The Athletic. And if you're not familiar with The Athletic, it is a very popular subscription news app mainly covering US and UK based sports. It offers top notch journalism and a vast volume of articles, but I suspect that its popularity is in part due to the hefty discounts that they offer to keep subscribers signed up. For example, if I click on the subscribe button, I'm immediately offered six months access for a dollar per month. Now, I actually decided to take up this offer a while back and as I always tend to do, I canceled my subscription just before the deal was due to expire. I think it was then literally only a day or two later that I received this email offering me 50% off the normal price. Now that is a pretty good deal, but I decided not to buy it and wait it out a little bit longer. And sure as eggs, The Athletic came back with an even better deal, now offering 70% off the normal price, which of course I accepted and signed up for another year at a bargain discount. Another app that you definitely don't need to pay full price for is Microsoft Office. In my last video, I demonstrated how you can use the online version of Office for absolutely free, but, if you prefer having Office installed on your Mac or PC rather than just online, then I recommend signing up to a website called Stack Social. Stack Social offers deals on all sorts of software and courses, and they often run deals on well-known applications such as Microsoft Office. Here you can see that they have the latest non-subscription version of Office 2021 with over 80% off a saving of 350 bucks. And if this is your first purchase on Stack Social, you can save yourself an additional 10% by subscribing to their newsletter. Just as an aside, if you are a Gmail user, you can put a plus sign followed by a descriptor in your email address and then filter out these type of emails from your inbox. So because I sign up to loads of these discount websites, I add the plus symbol followed by the name of the website to my email address. So now when I receive one of these emails from Stack Social, you can see that my email address includes the plus Stack Social. I then copy the address, choose filter messages like these, delete the text that Google has added and paste my email address into the to field. I then create the filter, set these emails to skip the inbox, apply a new label to them, and then finally apply the filter on all my existing mail. And there you go. These emails will now sit nicely under a label without cluttering up your inbox. If you enjoy reading and listening to book summaries, then another app that you don't need to pay full price for is Blinkist. I have been a subscriber to Blinkist on and off for many years, depending on whether they can entice me back with a solid discount like this one for 50% off. The secret for Blinkist is to sign up via their website, not via their mobile app. They both offer 
seven days free trial, but the difference is that the mobile subscription is managed by Apple, not Blinkist, so you won't benefit from any of the ongoing discounts. In the mobile app, after the trial ends, you either pay the full price or you cancel. That's it. But if you sign up via the website, like with Amazon, you'll receive lots of emails like these, and they might also offer you an immediate discount upon cancelling the trial. Blinkist is a great little app, and in my opinion, probably the best of the book summary apps available. However, if we hop back over to Stack Social, there are others that you can pick up even cheaper, such as 12 Minutes, that is offering a lifetime subscription for 40 bucks, and Flashbooks, who are offering lifetime subscription for 100 bucks. Another app that I often jump in and out of when there's a deal on is Headspace. Headspace is a meditation and relaxation app that is just great for helping you unwind after a stressful day. I actually think the full price subscription is very reasonable at just under $6 a month if you sign up for a year, but of course it's included on this list because you can get it even cheaper. Not frequently, but every so often you will receive deals like this one offering a hefty discount. As with Blinkist, just remember to sign up via the Headspace website, not via their mobile app, to make sure you get the best price. If you like Headspace but would rather not pay for the subscription, there are a limited number of free meditations available on YouTube. If you're a keen writer and thinking about signing up to Grammarly, then please, please, please do not pay 12 bucks a month. Sign up to the free trial and I guarantee you that within a week you'll be inundated with emails like this one offering Grammarly for half price. If you've ever had an itch to create your own website, then I highly recommend Wix because they frequently offer very reasonable discounts on all their hosting plans. As with all the apps on this list, you will first need to take advantage of the free trial. Don't worry about buying a domain name or any of the different premium tiers at this point, just use the free trial to start creating your site. If you need help with that, I have a tutorial that I'll link to explaining exactly how you can get started. At some point during your free trial, you'll more than likely receive a pop-up like this one in your Wix console, offering you a very generous discount on their premium tiers. Another creator tool that offers periodic discounts throughout the year is Camtasia. I use Camtasia to edit all of my YouTube videos. It's not as complicated as Final Cut Pro or Premiere, but has many of the same features that you'd expect from a premium video editing application. I like Camtasia because it's not subscription based and it's significantly cheaper than Final Cut or Premiere. If you're willing to wait, usually during the Black Friday sales events and at the end of the financial year, you can get 25% off the usual price, making it very affordable for anyone who wants to start their own YouTube channel. The last apps that I want to cover are VPNs. Again, in my last video, I recommended an excellent free VPN. However, if you've got your eye on something like NordVPN, well, they almost always have a deal running on their own website. If they don't have one on their website, then again, head over to Stack Social and search for VPNs, and I guarantee you'll find a bunch of good offers. For example, here is one for NordVPN, or there's AdGuard, which is another reputable company that's offering a five-year subscription for just 40 bucks. So there you have it. If you were considering buying any of these apps, then hopefully I've saved you a little bit of money. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more useful tips and tricks. And you might also be interested in finding out how I block spam calls and a neat trick for reading articles blocked behind a paywall. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.